The methods are more sophisticated, the results more severe. These days, rhino poachers come by helicopter, armed with powerful tranquilizers and a chainsaw. He came back and uh, discovered that the rhino was brutally, brutally horn hacked off, um, looking for evidence, looking for, for proof on how the guys have entered the reserve, couldn't find anything. This white rhino cow is the only known survivor of such an attack. The cruelty of this attack is just breathtaking. They've used a chainsaw to cut deep into her skull, tearing away those horns. She's alive, but she's lost her ability to smell. She's lost her ability to communicate with the other animals. And she's crucially lost her only means of defense. Private reserves and the national parks have stepped up security and armed patrols against a sudden scourge of rhino poaching, up tenfold since 2007, the biggest rise in 20 years. The end product, rhino horn on the shelves of traditional medicine shops in Asia, is as valuable as ever. Animal rights groups blame trophy hunting, which is allowed within sustainable limits, saying it promotes demand. The industry is actually laundering, it's a way of laundering rhino horn into the trade. So you get a permit to hunt a rhino, and then the next thing, that, that rhino's horn is in the illegal trade. So unless you stop trophy hunting, you're actually not going to stop this, this terrible, terrible pain and suffering that these rhinos are going through and the poaching that's happening. Conservation practices have succeeded in stabilizing South Africa's rhino population over the past five decades. But the numbers are still perilously low. Poaching and the insatiable Asian appetite for rhino horn are in danger of gaining the upper hand. She's got no ways of protecting herself. She's got to rely on of the other spe or the other rhinos around her, sort of protecting, relying on their ability to smell ability to, to give an indication as to you know, any danger that might be occurring. One survivor with a questionable future, among others, for whom death from the air could come at any time. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, KwaZulu-Natal.